hey, let's talk about protein bars today. So a lot of these on the market are what I call glorified candy bars, right? They are marketed as being healthy. They have these nice labels and they definitely trick you into thinking it's a good healthy option, but really they're loaded with carbs and sugar and artificial sweeteners and a bunch of other junk. Um, so today I'm going to talk about my top three bars, what brands I use, and then I'm also going to teach you how to find a healthy bar if you're maybe out and about and you need to grab a bar real quick, but you don't see any of the brands I'm recommending. So how to find your own bar. All right, so starting off, um, I really like this brand, Sun Warrior. Um, it is a plant-based protein, but it is really filling. You can see it's got 19 grams of protein, um, a little over 200 calories, three grams of sugar, really low in sugar, and then 18 grams of fiber, a ton of fiber. So really, really filling. Um, so I like that brand, Sun Warrior. Bulletproof is another really good brand. Their collagen protein bar, I think they have like eight or nine flavors now. It's, it's crazy. There's so many options. Um, but again, really filling. It's got a ton of healthy fats like coconut oil, so it's very, very satiating. Um, and they taste really good. So Bulletproof is a good option. And you can find those, um, I know at Whole Foods now and maybe some other stores. Easier to find for sure. Um, and then my last favorite is from Perfect Keto. I think you always have to get these online. I haven't seen them in the store. Um, but you can see 10 grams of protein. There's no added sugar. There's only like six ingredients. It's really, really clean and simple. Um, and most of the ingredients are organic. So I like all of those because they all pass my test on protein, the amount of carbs, the amount of sugar, and then the healthy ingredients. So how do you find a bar if you can't find any of these brands? Number one, look at the protein. So 10 to 20 grams of protein is pretty good for a meal replacement um, or a pretty filling snack. So first of all, look at the protein. Second, you wanna look at the net carbs. Now, most of the time you're not gonna see that on the label unless they're using it as like a healthy marketing tactic. Um, so you're gonna to have to do some math. So just an example, this one has, let's see how many grams of carbs. So 27 grams of carbs. And then the fiber is 18 grams. So you're actually gonna take total carbs, and then subtract your fiber, and then that's your net carbs. That, that number is really important because you want that to be ideally 10 or less, but definitely under 15. So you have to do a little bit of math. So total carbs minus the fiber equals net carbs. Keep that under 10. And then the final thing is how much sugar. Doo -doo -doo. So less than five grams of sugar always. Um, a lot of the bars like uh, Lara bars, Luna bars, those on the market, some of them have like 15, 20, 25 grams of sugar. That's insane. That's enough sugar for an entire day. So always keep it under five grams no matter what. And then the last thing I want you to look at is the ingredients. So are they organic? Are there 25 ingredients when there really only need to be five to 10 ingredients? And then are there artificial sweeteners? So you definitely want to look for aspartame and sucralose. Absolutely never consume either one of those. I can talk about those another day, but definitely do not buy the bar if it has either one of those. Not good. Um, so yeah, definitely take a look at the ingredient list on the back. And if you have a specific bar that you're curious about, post it in the Facebook group and I can comment back whether it's a good one or not. Um, and one final thing. I would prefer that everyone stays away from bars during the challenge because we are trying to stick with really healthy whole foods. But if you are you know, rushing around and you need a quick snack, it can be a really good option. All right, so chime in on the Facebook group if you need help with that.